Hey everybody, Draconic After Life here, back today with another video. As you can see by the title, we're going to be playing some Monster Hunter World Iceborne. They have the demo free for PlayStation Plus users. Um, try the game with the start test with worldwide matchmaking. Beta features three quests with monsters appearing in the actual game. Playing groups of four hunters from around the world or play by yourself in single play. New features such as clutch claw, new weapon actions, <clears throat> new bow gun actions, and view modes. Take screenshots in the training area. Oh, cool. Uh, match potions. Okay. Okay, makes sense. New tool, Clutch Claw. L2 and Circle. Grab onto monsters and use weapon attacks to soften their hides. Fire all of your slinger ammo at once to stagger. Okay, let's watch this video. Ooh, okay. This is going to be interesting. So it makes targeting certain spots on the monster easier. You can target their head and break it, or their tail to sever it, I'm guessing. Alright, we're gonna have to run single player. Let's see where this goes. Yeah, it's just basic. Oh wow, that's basic gear, all right. Hey, my palico. Uh, ooh, you, mean. You're a mean mouster. I like that. Let's go with that one. I like the look. Uh, you know what? My trusty partner. Right now. Trusty partner. Go check out his channel, he does some good stuff. After mounting the money, I'm going to fire the clutch call and transition to grappling instead. Well, attack or circle the grappling. Oh. Dang it. Ooh, Tigrex. Big Horn Banbaro. And Great Devourer, Great Jagras. Okay, let's try. Let's start off with a basic Great Jagras. Snow equipment. Uh, change palico equipment. Tiger X Warhammer. Oh, so there's one for each. Rarity nine. Oh, wow. Let's go with Tigrex. <laughs> yeah, let's go with Vigor Wasp. Um, some specialized tools can be upgraded. What? The effects of the decorations will only be active while you're using the specialized tool, but they should still provide helpful boost. Huh. Okay, first... I'm going... 
There it is. Chrome Fortress. I'm a I'm a big fan of the switch axe. That's what we have. What else do we have? Sword and shield, blades, gun lance. Yeah. Recovery, Guardian, Special Shot, Meyer Walker, Ice, Ironside, Capacity, Performers, Guard, Gilly Mantle Plus, and it can hold two slots. Challenger, Rock, Rock Steady. Rock Steady. Yes, Health Boost. Oh, that's Gyros headgear. Bon Anginath. Legiana. Legiana. They all, I mean, of course, they all provide around the same stats. Um, this is going to be just a great Jagras. So I don't think it matters. Check out the new gear. Wow. It would be hot as heck in that gear. That looks cool, though. Okay, so... Marathon Runner reduces stamina consumption impact. Well, active reduces damage taken by 30%. Predetermined chance and attack boosts. Only active when... Okay, so that's what these were. Tool specialist, short in time for reuse. But restoring health. Okay, that's attack, and right, we're gonna move over to the Anginath. That way. Oh crap. Attack boost six, and then when the other gear is activated, it goes to four. Uh, yeah, this is actually harder than I thought. All right, well, I can change the gear later. Let's depart. Switch our shadow gun. Soften its hide, making it vulnerable to subsequent attacks. Damage to it, knock it down. Oh, oh, okay. We've received eyewitness reports of our target, the great Jagras roaming around these parts. So let's get right to it. Open up your map. Uh, it's gonna go through a basic tutorial, isn't it? This here is our current location. After a feast, the great Jagras can be found waddling back to its nest, scraping its big belly along the ground. Try heading over to this area here, and search for any clues it may have left behind. Once you've tracked it down, go and put a three-star hurtin' on it. Oh, and one more thing. You're being timed. Look, let me go. That works. I don't need the files. Okay, what do I have to drink? I've got 10 mega potions, 8 potions, 2 max potions, antidote, hot drink, no berry, steak. Okay, so I, I, I got a good assortment of stuff. Scout 
fireflies have found something. Go get a closer look. Great! The scout flies have locked onto the scent of the monster. Be on the lookout for more tracks or traces. Interesting. So it looks like flies have picked up the monster's trail. Follow looks the like this light mechanics light. haven't changed. If you follow the scout flies to your target, you'll locate it in no time. Game still looks awesome. Oh, there he is. You're less likely to lose sight of a monster if you use the focus camera. Okay, you know what you have to do. Get in there and do your stuff. Oh, that's... Oh, that's awesome. Oh, try to remember the cold. Wow, he threw me off. I don't have anything on my slinger. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, three sharpings. Four. I saw that icon.
I'm trying to figure out how to do that move. It says back, back triangle. I was trying to do that, um, the new axe move I saw pop up. It was like when you do the super amped elemental discharge, you had to press, like, maybe it was clicking the stump stick and. But it was like, top right corner, do that. Oh, wait. I'm gonna need some more practice. Use the raider ride call to summon to ride small monsters. Feature for Iceborne. Small monsters are still wild creatures, so while they can't be fully controlled, they're still sure to be useful on hunts and investigations. Talk to your Palico at camp in the ancient forest or the Horde Roar Forest Ranch Reach to obtain your own raider ride call. I've already done that. Well. I guess that was interesting. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, end the recording here for this episode. We got to see a little bit of it. Um, I think I'll wind up doing three videos. One for each monster. And hopefully I'll get better by the time I get to Tigrex. Or I'm going to absolutely get destroyed. So. <laughs> nervous laughter. I hope you enjoyed the video. That'll be it for this time. I will see you guys in the next one. Till next time, this is Draconic Afterlife, heading back to the grave. <laughs>